This video is going to show you how to make icons for Windows using the program Ico Effects. It's a freeware program and I'll provide a link to their site in the description box underneath the video. Now the problem with most image to icon converters is that they'll create an icon that only has a single image when the Windows icon format Ico is capable of holding multiple images and the icons with multiple images are the ones that are found in system files like Shell32 and these system files is what most people edit to customize their operating system. As you can see these icons all hold multiple images in different sizes and different bit depths and this is the type of icon that you need be able to customize your operating system or like my other video to make an installer for your custom theme. So I'm going to show you how to be able to do this with Ico effects. You simply just run the program. As you see I have a few images here that I'm going to use for examples and I'm going to be using PNG image format because they hold their transparency once you save them in the image editor that you use to create them. Now you can simply drag and drop your image into the main window and you'll see that you have a few options here. You're going to want to keep it at a true color with alpha channel and as far as the image size go ahead and select 256 by 256 pixels. That way it'll it will create an icon in the largest image format. Simply select OK. i will give you an option where to crop your icon to, but we're not going to worry about that. Just simply select OK. Now we have our icon. And this is the standard format that most image to icon converters will make for you. It's just a single image and an icon. But with Ico effects, you simply push the Windows button here at the top where it says create Windows icon and I'll show you a whole bunch of different sizes and bit depths to make your icon out of. You can simply select OK and here's our icon with multiple images and multiple bit depths. Now from here all you have to do is simply select file and save. Select the name that you wish to be able to reference your icon to. I'm just going to leave it as untitled and then select save. And now you have a new icon that has multiple images. I'll drag and drop this image in for a second example. Once again true color with alpha channel. 256 by 256 pixels. Select OK. Go back up and select the Windows button. Select OK. And here's our new icon. Once again, go to File, Save, and I'm going to leave it as Untitled. Now we have our second icon. And these icons will be fit for editing system files such as Shell32 DLL or ImageRes DLL.